Sigma released, 222 and League Picks. This is Custom News Network. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Custom News Network. We have some interesting things coming this week. Obviously, we didn't have any matches because we had a break between stage three and four, but we did have some cool announcements coming out from Overwatch. It actually got leaked by uh, the Mexican World Cup team, I think it was, that Sigma was gonna be released. So big shout out to them for hooking us up early. Then we had the official release. We had a really cool teaser come out from Jeff and the Overwatch team. Incredible cinematic, if you haven't checked it out, it is a lot, like it's not for the lighthearted, very like full on, but it's actually really cool. Voice acting was incredible. The way they just did the whole thing in the release, the lore just seems really interesting. So go check that out if you haven't already. So here we are on the PTR. We're gonna, I'm gonna be messing around with it. I honestly have not read about any of his abilities. I've never played him. I've never seen anything. So I'm going in completely blind. Ooh. So it's about the same as a Reinhardt shield, except you can move it. I don't know. I feel like you could. there could be a lot of really cool things you could do with that. But I don't know if it's that good for self-protection. All right, that's cool. All right, let's see what his life figure ability does. Oh, all right, that is not what I was expecting. So they bounce off of walls. So it's like they go like a set distance. Okay, so the left click does a lot of damage. So what's that? That's 50 a hit. It's more than 50. All right, so let's use our accretion. Whoa! The oh, So you just like throw a rock at somebody. That's essentially, it's like throw stones. Let's see what the ultimate is. Oh. Whoa, I can like, it's like Doomfist where I can hover and then I. That was pretty sick. I feel like that's like a Graviton Surge. You like grab into a grab kind of thing. Um, uh, let's absorb some projectiles. Haha! -ha! Did that give me 100 health? Off of just those projectiles? Hey right, guys, he's live on PTR now. Please do go check him out if you want to mess around with his abilities. You can play in some of those custom games. Play with the 11 Sigmas and the one warrior because there's always that one guy. So yeah, check him out. Mess around with him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It happened. It finally happened. I know. I, I'm... I'm... What do I, I'm lost for words. It, it finally happened. Roll queue is coming to Overwatch. It's coming to the Overwatch League. It's coming to Ranked. It's coming to Quick Play. It's not coming to your arcade. There's going to be two tanks, two uh, DPS, and two supports locked in for the future of the game. I think it's really exciting. There's a lot of people coming back into the game, trying it out again, testing the new, new system of how it works. Um, I messed around with it myself a little bit on stream. The way this system is going to work is they're going to give you an unique SR for every single role in which you have and then you can queue up for each individual one so you can queue up for tank and you can be a 3k tank player but you could queue up for support and be a 4300 support player or you could queue up for DPS and you could be like a 1500 DPS player I'm just speaking from experience personally but you know that's that's how it usually could work so um, be really cool to see how uh, what Blizzard does with this and I'm really looking forward to it coming into the league and into my ring games Okay, on top of the 222 roll queue getting announced, they released some patch notes that are going to be, you know, complementing this change uh, coming up. We have a global ultimate cost increase. Just across the board, it's going to take you 12% longer to get a ultimate. We have uh, Ash, where uh, reload time, just a nice little, like, she reloads faster, nothing is worse than shooting all 12 of your shots and then just like... Then we have Brigitte getting the most changes out of everyone. We have the Inspire passive increasing the amount of healing that she does. We also had um, her repair pack get changed. Uh, so instead of having just like the one E repair pack, she now has three charges and it heals for 30, 30 less, but it now heals for two seconds instead of healing instantly. Whipshot um, is faster. Her barrier is now from 500 to 300, which is, I would say, one of the biggest notable changes. Okay, we have Doomfist, my boy. Quick melee, no longer pause ammo reload. Perfect, you know, I've been talking to Jeff this whole time, telling him that Doomfist needs some reworks. This is exactly what I was looking for. And we have Hanzo, Storm Arrow is reduced from six to five. Always nice, you know, screw Hanzo players. The big one that's the most controversy over this entire patch though, is the Moria change. So what's gonna happen is Fade can now be used while stunned. 
And that's not just like, oh, I get McCree flashbanged or I get Gravitons. It's like, if you get pinned, you can fade. If you get slept, you can fade. If you get earth shattered, you can fade. The Arisa protective barrier are from eight, eight to nine, just a little bit of a nerf onto Arisa. Reinhardt's are rejoicing. There's a new passive called Steadfast, which reduces their knockback effectiveness by 30%. Really cool change. They're changing Sombra. Thank you Hack duration from six to five, which is still enormously long, but you know, it's something. And the EMP activation time increased from 0.5 to 0.65. So Kriv will have more time to sleep the Sombra as they're going for the EMP, which is always nice. Big changes to Metro on the teleporter, essentially making it more viable. You know, it doesn't disappear. You have to destroy it for it to go away and stuff like that. And they increase like the range and all that kind of stuff. So that's a really cool change for Symmetra. They're trying to bring Tracer back as well. Please, Jeff, no. Sweet, no. Post one damage from 300 to 350. And then the Wrecking Ball, this is just terrifying to me. This is one of the scariest things. Wrecking Ball's increased projectile speed from his mines, which is his ultimate. They come down faster and they activate faster. So if you get slammed, if he drops the mines and then you get slammed, you are almost certainly dead now. So just never get slammed, forehead, um, and you'll be fine. Quick update on the Road to Kit Kat Rivalry Weekend, the collegiate like competition that I'll be playing at the Novo uh, on August 24th and 25th, if you haven't heard. There is a close running. It will close in about seven hours after this episode is aired. So please do go make your votes. There's a really close race going on here between Cal State Northridge, UC Santa Barbara, and UC Riverside. So if you are part of those schools, you want to see them compete and, you know, have a run in for this for this competition at the Kit Kat Rivalry Weekend. Please make sure you go and vote for your favorite school. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we can see you there and see some amazing competition. Okay, guys, fan comment section of the week. We have Jenny Lou to start. Here's my $30. Can I have some custom bath water, please? I haven't actually received the $30 yet. I'm actually reserving my bath water until I get, you know. Proper checking, um, there's high demand right now, supply is a little low, so I'll have to get back to you and uh, delivery will be out there as soon as possible. We have Pascal Ney with, hey Custer, will you go to Nevada and help raiding Area 51? Maybe we'll find the old Mercy before rework there. Holy grail for Mercy means. Dude, that Area 51 is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I also think people are dumb enough to think it's actually gonna happen and I think people are gonna go. And that's, my question is how far do they get before like, something significant happens. If it's like, if they actually commit to it, if you jump that fence and you just run towards Area 51, you'll get shot. Yeah. Like, they're not gonna let you onto the government property, like. All right, what is, what is best case scenario they find in Area 51? So the, like, they make it into Area 51, like nothing bad happens and they just make it in. Uh -huh. Best case scenario. They walk in, Stargate. Like, literally yeah, Stargate. I, I'd be down. Okay, Casey Fiorenza says, where's Bo and Aya at with their updates? We've actually had them running to a very secret destination for us to give us the content. Bo and Aya, what is going on right now? Okay, very interesting stuff. Keep us updated for September. That was them at Area 51. Please do keep tuning in for more updates. Okay, and we have Huigo with, there better be a video in the future of Custer, Uber and Trill baptizing Baptizing, okay, I, Overwatch has ruined me. Baptizing plebs in the ways of the Vegemite. That happens every now and then. What, you, you dilute the Vegemite and then you just sort of like make it so it's like more of a liquid and then you just sort of like throw it at random people and then like, you're Australian now! And then people yell at you generally. So, uh, you yeah, know, but that'll probably happen on now, sooner or later. Okay, and we have Amy with Custer cosplaying the new Torp skin when, yikes. Uh, you know, that's, I, I would love to, but I just, I don't really have the legs that Torb has. It just, I just don't think it would work very well. Mainly because he's also like four foot three and I'm also like seven foot eight. So, um, it just, dimensions aren't really there. So, we'll see. All right guys, we have a cool little extra thing coming in for the league uh, soon. It's gonna be Overwatch League Picks. So essentially you guys in Twitch chat will be able to make predictions on the Overwatch League games, and if you get things right, you can do challenges, all these kind of things, you'll earn Overwatch League tokens, and you can get more team skins. So that's gonna be really exciting, allowing you guys to sort of have some like competition and you know, actually like have your predictions like value and then make, prove it to your friends that you were right. Cause screw those guys, you were right and you, were, you really chose Mayhem to beat Vancouver Titans. Like you can really prove it to them. So 
it's gonna be a lot of fun, really exciting, you extra thing for you guys to enjoy with the league. So uh, looking forward to when that cut's released. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this week's Custom News Network. Obviously, we have the league starting up again this week. So really excited for uh, some role locked Overwatch League. It's going to be an amazing time. So please do remember to follow, um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff as always. And always, and always, and always, and always, and always, this is all your fault.